The best general store in the territory's in Brimstone. I should know. I own it. Stop on by the general store, friend. We'll fix you up real nice. Hey, mister, you heading to Brimstone, too? I reckon that's where everyone is heading. Always jobs in Brimstone. Me, I'm going to work for Carnaby Peabody. He's the manager of the Brimstone Bank and a real swell guy. If you need a loan, Carnaby Peabody's the man to see. Howdy, gunslinger. You'll see plenty more of your kind in Brimstone. A fella like yourself might do all right in the dueling contest. That's right, the Battle Royale is coming. Best you visit the gun shop when we arrive. Mister, you could really use a hot bath and some fresh clothes. My gracious, whatever is that smell? What you bothering me for? Sit back down. That's right. The Battle Royale is coming. Best you visit the gun shop when we arrive. Bandits! Well, Bounty Hunter, if you want this train to make it to Brimstone, you better load up them guns of yours. Now this here's a robbery. Nobody plays hero, nobody dies.
you doing? Oh! Close. Hey, thanks for saving me. Here, let me patch you up a bit. There ain't no end to these desperados!
You the bounty hunter? Sheriff Bartlett. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. <laughs> I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. <laughs> Save the life of Sheriff O'Grady this morning. That poor town's just a hotbed of trouble recently. Why, only the other day I heard that an ex pupil of mine, a sweet boy by the name of Joshua, got in trouble with some dynamite. Offers $5,000 prize to the quick. Always had a fascination with loud noises, that one. Between you and me, the poor thing was as deaf as a post. Well, I do declare. I had me such a fright the other day. One of my little ones got to drinking some liver medicine I bought from a traveling salesman. Poor thing looked ever so sick, and I was quite worried for him. Until I told him I was going to take him to see Woody Klein to see if he could help. Read all about it. Governor announces six... So little Jimmy starts throwing a temper tantrum. And lo and behold, after all that rolling around and shaking, he was as right as rain. Hey, you look like you've traveled around these parts. I heard you was the one that saved Sheriff O'Grady's life. I wonder what'll happen to that town of his, now that there are no lawmen left. Read all about it. Governor announces sixth annual battle. Right there are some now. bad sorts up that way. And if word gets to them that O'Grady ran afoul of Ugly Chris, well, it done turned my blood cold just thinking about it. Offers five thousand dollars. There was some fancy pants Englishman in town just the other day claiming he was a famous trick shooter. He was claiming that he'd been hired sight unseen by a world-renowned circus troupe. The only circus folk around here are the freaks that belong to that charlatan snake oil salesman, Professor Perry. Read all about it. Governor announces sixth annual battle royale. That Englishman better pray he don't run into them. Them circus folks just aren't right in the head. Hey, you look like you've traveled around these parts. Offers $5,000 prize to the quickest draw in the territory. Apparently, he blew up a bathhouse and was run out of town. Poor thing's probably living a hand-of-mouth existence somewhere in the wilderness. I hear you saved the life of Sheriff O'Grady. Howdy, friend. Glad you stopped in.
What can I do for you, stranger? Ralph Clover's the name. Howdy, mister. You look like a man who can appreciate a good shooting iron. Like you need a drink. What'll it be? Yeah, when I get my hands on that prize money, I can finally get about doing that thing I was always thinking about doing. Now, what was that thing again? Howdy, stranger. Always nice to see a fresh face in town. You look like you could do with a bath, a soft bed, and the company of a fine woman. We've got all that and more here. But if you are after a drink, I'd talk to Hans over by the bar. But if you're looking for a good time, Christina should be awake in a couple of hours. I'm sure she'll be what you were looking for. Howdy, stranger. good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are, you could help me with a couple of real outlaws wreaking havoc in my territory. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Pig Josh. He's one crazy outlaw and circus freak. Just be careful. He's got a hankering for dynamite. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he's keeping company with.
Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I seem to have found myself in a most unfortunate situation. If you would be kind enough to help me. You ain't my problem. Indeed, sir. However, you might feel differently once you look behind you. I'm guessing there's more where they came from. That contraption should make short work of them. I'll cover you.
Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. What an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Jack. Don't bet on making it out again. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, Jack. Here I come. For a little pick me up, I think. My boys will keep you busy. Oh! 
this excitement has made me quite thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Almost run dry. Okay, Swift. I've had enough of you now. Oh! <laughs> so sorry, old man. Oh, that was incredible. You saved my life. All in a day's work. I only wish it were more financially gratifying. Well, shoot, mister. If getting yourself a little money's all you're worried about, then I know where someone with your talent could pick up $5,000 in gold without even trying. Pray do tell, young lady, and I would be forever in your debt. There's a sharpshooter competition in Brimstone. Winner takes all. Shouldn't be a problem for such a fine marksman like yourself. Well, madam.
Fresh off the press, Widow's Pad saved by Limey. You hear about the trouble in Widow's Patch last night? Apparently, this English fella had a run-in with Perry and his freaks. Sounds like things got real nasty there. Two of them got to fighting and damn near burned the place to the ground. Fresh off the press, Widow's Patch You hear about the trouble in Widow... Look like a man with a thirst. You must have stopped by the saloon by now and seen them pretty girls that Hans Kenyon keeps around. Hans used to have a girl there, went by the name of Bessie. Could do things with a whip like you wouldn't believe. Fresh off the press, widow's pad saved by Bessie money. claimed she would never miss with her whip. Oh, she often did. And she'd get right modeled afterward, and often end her act prematurely. Well, it happened once too many times for Bessie's liking. She saw this fella laughing at her, gave him a good licking with her whip, stole his money, and ran off into the hills. Or so I heard. Fresh off the press, widow's pad saved by Lime. You look like a man with the third. Good day to you, sir. I don't suppose you know what's going on up at Rogue Valley, would you? I need to get through that canyon to see my sister who's ailing something terrible over at Clementine Falls. Professor Bad Bessie and her gang have been holed up there for weeks now, and there ain't no traffic getting through at all. Somebody needs to get in there and make it safe for decent people to travel. Step aside, hombre. Billy Cougar's walking by. Bounty finally collected. If you want to live long enough to see tomorrow, just be on your way, mister. Step aside, hombre. Fresh off the press, Widow's Pad saved by Limey. Professor Perry perishes at the hands of a traveling showman. Bounty finally collected on Pig Josh. Fresh off the press, Wid... Good day to you, stranger. Have you been reading the newspaper recently? The governor has announced another battle royale. Professor Perry perishes. It's a little shooting competition we have every year to attract visitors to Brimstone. Not only does it bring decent law abiding folks like yourself. But it also keeps the undesirable element of our society in check. If there is one thing every no good outlaw has around here, it's a big ego. Oh, and an unquenchable thirst for gold. Fresh off the press, widow's pad Fortunately, by... none of those outlaws are as good as Mr. Kelly, the governor's champion for the last four years. He's never lost a gunfight yet. Good day to you, stranger. If you can't find what you're looking for in Ralph Clover's general store, they probably haven't invented it yet.
bounty finally collected on Pig Josh. Forty-two long, right? I never forget a shirt size. What can I do for you? Come on in, mister. can I do for you? Got everything the discerning gunslinger could possibly need. Not bad, bounty hunter. Not bad at all. Now I reckon you could really line your pockets. If you don't mind hunting down a woman. Even you can call her a woman.